Welcome back everyone. Today I have something a little bit different from my normal videos. Um, I'm on the side of the road, as you can see. I got my bike here and what I will be doing is modifying my air filter a little bit. So last time I, I tuned my engine, uh, they took out my air filter because I wanted more airflow. But uh, what the guy didn't realize is that I just wanted something in my air filter changed so that there's more airflow, not the air filter removed altogether. But what he did is remove my air filter. So currently I'm running on uh, just pure air from outside without any filtration, which isn't the healthiest thing for the bike. Rocks and other things may get into it. So what I will do is I will take this air filter, I will cut out a little piece and I will place the sponge in there. I will modify the sponge a little bit as well. And what this will allow it to do is let in more air, but clean air. And um, this paper right here, it, it's not the best for uh, good airflow. It doesn't let a lot of air through and that actually decreases the performance of the bike. Um, so by placing this sponge in here, I will be able to allow more airflow. I learned this trick from a friend of mine. He is into bikes, he had a CRF 250, really cool bike, he modified it. And this is a little trick that he taught me. So yeah, first of all, what I'm gonna have to do is uh, take everything off because my air filter is supposed to be under there. And once I have everything off, I can start cutting out the air filter and putting the sponge in. So I will get back to you as soon as everything here is off. One eternity later. All right, so I, I've removed the everything that uh, was blocking my way to the air filter. So the air filter should be sitting right here, like this. Yeah, this is where it should be. And as you can see, I didn't have one. It was just open like this. So yeah, okay. Uh, it didn't take me much to get in there. I just took off the seat and took off this cover right here that was covering it. Um, now it's simple. Now I just have to make the air filter with the sponge and then we can put it in there and then we can give it a test drive and see how how the performance increases or decreases. So yeah, let's, let's get to the air filter now. Okay, so for the air filter, let's, um, let's first analyze the sponge. So there's a net on top, as we can see, and that has to come off, so I'll cut that off. And then I have to cut it to size so it fits right here perfectly, because currently, as you can see, it's a little bit bigger than we want it to be. So let me just take off the net, and then um, I will use the marker to outline how big it is, and we will cut it a little bit smaller than the sponge so that it sits in there very tightly and uh, no, uh, no air holes to let the air through. <coughs> 15 minutes later. Just finishing cutting off the net. Yep. Okay, so now we have this clear sponge. Now I need to see how, how much to cut off. Just go like that, like that. Let's cut it off now. Cuts like butter. <laughs> It's a brand new knife, super sharp. Let's not let any excess stuff fly around. I've never actually done this before, but my friend recommended it. So I'm taking his word on this. Hopefully I don't mess anything up. Okay, so here's the sponge. Yeah, should fit perfect. Now, what my friend said is that he recommends I cut it in half as well, so it's a little bit thinner. Um, let's get that done as well. Okay, now let's pick a better side. I think this one's a little bit nicer. Just get this, yeah, okay. So I'll use this side. Now let's outline okay not sure if you can see it but we have our outline right there now what i have to do is cut it a little bit smaller than the outline so the sponge sits in there very tight and snug and um, then we can actually put it in the bike and already start testing it
still a bit stuck on this side. Okay, there we go. And now we can place this right in here. Very nice. Nice and tight. Yeah, so that's how it looks now. <laughs> okay, so from this to this. All right, I've just finished putting in the air filter. You can see it in there, the sponge and the air filter. Yeah, it's already dark, so. But um, it's not too late to give it a test drive, so yeah, let me clean this up. I'll throw it in the trash and let's go for a test drive. Oh, I see you on the road. All right, so <clears throat> I've got everything ready. I cleaned everything up. Now my bike has a air filter. Um, why don't we go for a why don't we go for a drive and I'll tell you what I think about this new adjustment. I'm not actually expecting a big difference. After all, it's just an air filter. Look, two different ambulances going to two different places. This is Bangkok for you guys. Yeah, this is the first time that I'm out on my bike at night on this channel, so why don't I give it a little drive? Why don't I go for a small ride? I don't like the traffic lights, so I'll just go this way. <laughs> it's a little rainy, so I don't think I'll be out for long. Okay, honestly, there isn't a really big difference, but there is a big difference inside the bike now. I can go around places safely and, and not be worried about any dust or rocks or anything nasty going into my engine. And I'm still getting the most performance because there is a sponge in there that lets all the air through. I wonder if anybody else in the world has done this. It's a great tip that my friend showed me. As you can see, nighttime traffic is just as bad as day traffic if not worse i honestly don't remember there being this much traffic on this road during the day currently i'm driving without the ecu because i cannot be bothered to change it every time it's immense hassle and just easier if i don't put it in you know so yeah i haven't i haven't had it in my bike for a while but i, I will tune it in my next video and then i will be driving with it all the time and my bike will have much better rpm acceleration it will go to 1100 rpm instead of 1000 why are you so loud brother double exhaust so loud oh i'm not sure if you can hear how loud it is because of the microphone i have but pretty damn loud but I am actually happy now I don't have to worry about different debris flying into my engine I can drive much calmer now and and it is much cheaper to replace this filter I have now than to buy a brand new filter because you know how with every bike you have to change your air filter from time to time yeah and uh, for my bike it's about 300 baht um, How much is that 10 US dollars for the air filter and it's not a lot of money, but the sponge is 13 baht which is Less than 50 cents. I'm sure Yeah, so it'll be much cheaper to replace Whenever it gets dirty and it's pretty simple to check whether it's dirty or not. I suppose that maybe you have to change it a little bit more often than the normal air filter that you just get but um, I think it's worth it all the extra air you get in your engine and the cheap replacement I think it's worth it yeah 
Well, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the cool little trick I had with the air filter. I'll see you next time with another racing video or my tuning ECU video. So for now, I have nothing else for you guys. Till next time.